Dracula Unleashed is really more than a movie or a game. It's, uh, it's an interactive movie where the player will go ahead and be able to determine the outcome of the movie based on what he's done. Well, a movie has a beginning, middle, and end. We also have those things, but we have multiple middles and multiple endings. Uh, in that way, the player can go ahead and win ultimately or maybe just barely win and maybe you know, lose in a variety of different ways. Also, on his way to trying to solve the game and uh, destroy Dracula, he'll be able to go ahead and change the storyline based on what he's done, who he's seen, um, where he's gone, um, what objects he's picked up. So all these multiple things that the player is allowed to do, that interactivity will allow him to go ahead and change the outcome of the game. Really what we're doing here is we're combining Hollywood and hardware. We're merging um, the interactivity of an adventure game with video um, to allow us to uh, have a new type of experience for gamers. Um, that full motion video is really the next extent of adventure gaming. Big difference between uh, Dracula Unleashed and something like Bram Stoker's Dracula is the fact that we really don't want to rehash the whole book. I mean, that's not our goal, and it's been done, and it's been done very well. Um, we wanted to go ahead and start the game about 10 years after, and we bring in all the same characters that you remember, Abraham Van Helsing, Dr. Seward, Renfield, people like that, and then we introduce new characters, especially Alexander Morris, who's our uh, main character, who's the brother of Quincy Morris, who ended up killing Dracula. Our feeling was, if you've read the book, why bother playing the game? You know the outcome. You know who kills Dracula. You know everything about that. We wanted to make it that much more. Um, one of the big questions asked is what goes into the production of something like an interactive movie. And uh, first of all, we need to know what our objective is, which is to make um, something that is very scary, obviously, a gothic horror game that builds a lot of suspense to keep people pl you know, constantly playing it again and again and again. Um, and to keep that interest high, we go ahead and have a ton of different scenes we shoot, about, over about 150 different scenes that the player may or may not see his first time through. Our costumes, we've got over 150 costumes that have been designed for our characters, over 40 characters. And of course, because it's a Dracula game, you have to have all the special effects, all the fog, all the gore, the stakings, the vampire women, wolves, or whatever. Um, we know that that's essential to the game, and we wouldn't do without it. The most exciting uh, aspect of this whole uh, shoot is really the collaborative effort among all the artists, the makeup artists, set designers, prop stylists, the uh, wardrobe artists, and they all have a vision. And from a director's point of view, the, the biggest challenge and, and sometimes heartbreak, most times uh, rewarding, is getting everyone's vision uh, copacetic so that it can all come out as one uh, final piece whereas it all seems connected. The greatest challenge of shooting a film for the video game of Dracula Unleashed is that every viewer has their own concept of what Dracula should be. There's a, a long history of Dracula films and the challenge we put upon ourselves is to try to create as realistic an environment for all viewers possible that they can easily lose their disbelief and, uh, and get uh, absorbed into all the, the drama of this piece. Like any good movie or book or adventure game, I'm not going to tell you the ending, uh, or multiple endings in this case, and this is what really drives the player to keep coming back and playing it again and again and again. Uh, whether he's seen all the things he doesn't know, you know, has he killed Dracula in the ultimate way? Has he uh, solved it in the best way possible? Or or whatever. I mean, these are the things that keep people coming back and back and back to play these types of games, and certainly Dracula Unleashed won't disappoint anyone.